This tutorial will look at ionic compounds formed when two elements form an ionic bond. Firstly, it's important to make clear that ionic bonding involves the transfer of electrons from one atom to another. This differentiates it from another kind of bonding covalent, which would be the sharing of electrons. So ionic bonding, the transfer of electrons. Let's start with magnesium and oxygen. So magnesium forms a 2 plus ion and oxygen forms a 2 minus ion. So essentially when they react together, two electrons can be lost from magnesium and gained by oxygen. This requires only one magnesium atom and one oxygen atom and therefore the compound that's formed is MgO, otherwise known as magnesium oxide. Now note that when we write the formula, we always put the element that forms the cation in front and the element that forms the anion second. Now let's look at lithium and oxygen. Lithium forms a 1 plus ion and oxygen a 2 minus. So lithium is essentially losing one electron. But oxygen needs to gain two electrons. So for these two to bond together, it requires two lithium atoms, each one of which will transfer one electron to the oxygen. So if we're going to represent this, this then becomes Li2O because two lithium atoms are required to react with one oxygen. Finally, let's look at a more challenging example. So now we'll look at beryllium and nitrogen. So beryllium forms a Be2 plus nitrogen a 3 minus. So each beryllium is going to lose two electrons, but nitrogen wants to gain three. So we need to find where we're losing the same number of electrons that we're gaining. So for that, we need three beryllium atoms and two nitrogen atoms. So collectively, six electrons are being transferred from three beryllium atoms to two nitrogen atoms. So our formula, therefore, when beryllium and nitrogen react together is Be3N2.